Okay, so in this video we were doing a lot of saddle training work. Bugsy has a really bad habit of walking off when I try and get on her, so we've been working on that quite a bit. This was the first day where we actually addressed the standing from mounting. We've been doing a lot of groundwork to see if there were any holes there, um, and all I could really find was her backing was really bad, which I knew that already. Uh, but other than that, her groundwork is pretty good. Um, at first, you can see me here doing some disengaging of her hips, just moving them over, making sure she'll move them for me. And then I started disengaging her shoulders, which is her area that she has a little bit harder of a time with. The, um, the left side for her is a lot easier. She moves over a lot more willingly with the left side than she does the right side. Um, and here you're going to kind of see that uh, we move to disengaging the hips again, just making sure that she moves them over. I'm not too picky about if she holds her front feet in the same spot. Uh, all I want is for her to just move her body away from me. Um, and then you can see she gets a little distracted here. I think the chickens were out today and the turkeys were out the next day. I can't remember exactly which, but there were birds out that she was getting distracted by. And then here you can see um, disengaging her shoulders on the right side. It's not as good as the left side. Um, and she tries to walk out of the circle and walk past me a little bit, which I don't particularly like. So then we try it again, and this time she did a little bit better. Still walking out after I give her the release, which I'm not quite happy about. And then we go back to that keep your eyes on me thing that I was talking about in the last video. This is how I normally do it how I had done it in the video before this one was a little bit different, um, but just backing towards their hip so that it's really hard for them to get back to me. Um, and as you can see, there's not a whole lot of tension in the lead rope, so it's not like she's following the lead rope, she's just following me. So then we moved on to backing up, and she for some reason didn't really want to back up today, um, at least at this portion of the training session. She's just kind of bulking up against it and fighting that pressure. So then now I'm just doing some normal saddle training stuff flapping the fenders around um, and making a lot of noise with them, letting them jiggle the saddle around, letting the leather kind of squeak together, um, just to make sure that nothing about the saddle is terrifying her. I also patted the seat a little bit just to make sure that that doesn't scare her at all. Um, I didn't think so, but I just wanted to make sure, again, just making sure there's no holes. Because um, I wanted to make sure that she wasn't walking off because she was afraid of anything. So then I start putting a little bit of pressure in one stirrup uh, and leaning a little bit just so, to see if that is what's causing the issue or if it is just the act of mounting that she doesn't like. So here you can see I'm just adjusting my latigo just to make sure that it's tight. And this is actually a terrible latigo. Uh, it gets really sticky and sticks to itself real easy. Uh, I really need to get a new one at some point. And I decided before I actually started doing any of the actual mounting uh, work, I would put the rain or the lead rope into a reins configuration just because I find that that's a little bit easier. I end up adjusting it later on in the video to help with some uh, bending. And then here you can see I wanted to test her out and see how she would react to me getting on because I hadn't gotten on her in a while since we had restarted her groundwork. And I got the reaction I thought I was going to get. So I just decided to, you know, 
disengage her hips a little bit, make her move, make her work for it, um, and wait until she gave me that can we stop look. So this is where Bugsy showed me that she can back up, and she can back up pretty well actually. Um, all I'm asking for here is just for her to give me some lateral flexion and tip her nose into me. This was kind of a um, just an extra backup tool that I didn't end up using, and I probably won't do again when we work come back to working on this. Um, I've just found that some horses do better having their nose tipped in. When you get on with Bugsy, she doesn't really seem to think so. She likes to move her hips away and think I'm asking her to disengage when I do this, um, even though I'm asking for it in a completely different way than I would with disengaging. Oh, and then Gabe interrupts the video here. Uh, you can see a shadow pop up there. Just asking if I need anything from the feed store, so we're going to fast forward through all that. And then we go back to doing more lateral work. So you can kind of see Bugsy's moving her head over, but she isn't really dipping her nose into me. Um, which as I was asking her to dip her nose in is what I was waiting for. And if she would give me just a little bit of that bend, I would release her. Um, and here she was giving a really good bend and she kept her head over. So I wanted to see what she would do if I tried to put my foot in the stirrup and she moved away like she normally does. So I already have my stirrups adjusted unevenly. So I've got the left stirrup down farther than my right stirrup just so that it makes it easier for me to get on. I am not a flexible person by any means. So this just made it easier for me to get her to allow me to get on uh, because I figured if I was having a hard time getting myself to even put my foot in the stirrup that would make it a lot harder for her to be willing to stand for me. So making the right answer easy by putting the stirrup down further. Um, and here she for some reason just wanted to keep walking around while I was trying to adjust the stirrup. I was also having a hard time getting the stirrup to go into the proper hole because for some reason it just didn't want to cooperate. Um, and I ended up adjusting it a little bit longer here is what I'm trying to do. <laughs> um, just because I was still having a problem with the length of that that I had adjusted it to. And for some reason I kept taking the stirrup hobble off and putting it back on even though I don't need the stirrup hobble with my stirrup straights on because they don't allow the stirrup to turn on the fender at all anyhow, which is the whole point of a stirrup hobble, is just to keep your stirrup from flipping around and turning on you. Um, so that was kind of a redundant thing that I kept doing. I could have just put it around the horn and been done with it, but yeah, I guess it's just an OCD thing I have. So I'm again just testing to make sure that she's not afraid of the stirrup by any means of the saddle moving around. Um, and again she gives me no reaction to that. So it definitely is just the, the motion of getting on that freaks her out a little bit. Now I am getting some very good backups out of this uh, training session, which is great, but that's not exactly what I'm asking for here. It wasn't working. So eventually I'm going to get on here. Um, <laughs> or at least start trying to get on. You can kind of see how much of a difference I put in the stirrups there with Bugsy standing uh, a little bit more head on with the camera. 
it's a drastic difference. Because <laughs> the stirrup was just a little bit higher than my knee at this point when I first started actually getting on. Um, but again, we're just doing more lateral work because past Shelby just could not drop this whole lateral thing, even though it clearly wasn't. So here we're finally starting the getting on for mounting work. Finally, it took like 15 minutes of me just fumbling about like an idiot. So here was the first time I actually got a reaction that I normally get out of Bugsy, except she rarely lets me put my foot in the stirrup. Um, and as soon as she stopped, I released and took my foot out of the stirrup for her and got off. Just so that she knew that her standing still was the correct answer. And again, she took a step back as I was trying to get on there and just rewarded her for it. There she thought about moving, so I was going to reward that, that thought of, mm, no, maybe I should stand here. So there I re was rewarding her looking at me while I was getting on. That's kind of what I was trying to get across with the lateral flexing, but it wasn't coming across well. But I rewarded her for it to show her that yes, that's what I wanted. And there I was accidentally kicking her in the belly, um, but I rewarded her for, you know, standing still. And then we go back to adjusting the fenders. Throughout this entire training session, I was adjusting the fenders up a little bit higher after every couple of attempts, just until we got to where my fenders are supposed to be, which is the very tippy tippy top, uh, because I have teeny tiny short legs that need very short stirrup lengths. So it took us a little while to get all the way up to the top, but I think in the long run it actually helped us a lot because it allowed me to have a lot more time to reinforce that yes, I want you to stand. But she was doing very well there standing for me to just bounce around on the side of her body and giving her lots and lots of neck rubs. And again, she moved off when I tried to get on, so rewarding her once she stopped. That will help a lot more than if you were to just try and get on after they stop, because then they understand that, oh, the human gets off if I stand still. So that's kind of what I was trying to reinforce with this whole uh, day. And I actually laid on Bugsy's back a couple of times, just getting her prepared. This took quite a few tries, and I'm actually going to start speeding up the footage now, uh, just because it is a lot of the same stuff at this point. So in this final video clip, I have my stirrups, I think, adjusted all the way up to where they're supposed to be at this point. So we are 100% ready to get on, and you're going to see me here in a second fumble around with my stirrup and this is why I adjusted the stirrups longer because this is what I do every time I get on unless I have a mounting block because I am that stiff and not flexible. It's a serious problem. Mind you, I'm 5'2", Bugsy's 14 hands, so it's not like I've got to get up very high. I just need to work on stretching. So there I finally have my leg all the way over and I accidentally, I think, bumped Bugsy in the side here in a second when I was adjusting the saddle over, which is why she walked off. And again, stopping is not her thing, so she just kind of walked off with me. And you'll see us kind of pop into camera here. I'm trying to adjust the saddle a little bit, um, and she was just not having any of this, any of the stopping nonsense. That's the next thing that we have to work on is getting her to stop nicely.
And anytime that I give her her head back after a stop, she wants to walk forward again. She's a very forward moving horse. So that's another thing we have to kind of work on under saddle at some point. Um, but for right now, I was just working on getting up there, which is a task in and of itself. So here in a second, I'm going to actually start backing her up, which she backs up pretty good. In this little clip here, she takes, I think, three or four good steps for me. And then I decided since I was up there and we had done about a half an hour of trying to get on, that I would reward that with just a short little pony ride, which we just walked around the round pen for like five minutes, maybe ten, somewhere in that time range, just doing nothing but walking around in a circle and changing the direction every now and again, um, which she did really good. Towards the end of the ride, I gave her her entire lead rope to work with, and I was just holding the very end of it, um, basically being on the buckle, but my camera cuts out quite, quite quickly here, so there's not a whole lot of footage of me riding her at this point. Um, hopefully next time we do any of this kind of work, my camera won't cut out and you'll be able to see me riding a little bit better. Um, I decided to leave her in her halter for this just because I find that doing saddle work with a halter when you're doing this kind of basic stuff is a lot easier than with a bit or a hackamore, which is what I use on her is just a English hackamore. Uh, and also it works a lot better if you're going to be using the lateral work. But anyhow guys, I hope you enjoyed that, and we're going to end it there. <laughs>